Hey guys, Kyle Kruger here. I'm with my friend John Arsenal. Hi, John. <laughs> John is a fine art photographer. He's also an Instagrammer. He is one of my biggest inspirations for taking self-portraits. So I thought it'd be a, such a great video to show you guys who inspires me um, on Instagram. Today he's gonna do a self-portrait and we're gonna ask him a few questions about how he got into that. I didn't plan on getting into self-portraiture <laughs> when I was at the Art Institute of Boston and um, I would get assignments and I was just there. It was just easy for me to photograph myself. Like, are there any artists or photographers that inspire you for your self-portraits? Rembrandt, Monet, from past painters that I get inspiration for a lot of my work. I was really inspired by the poses and I realized that when I was doing my self-portraits a lot is about gesture. In the majority of my self-portraits it's really important what my hands are doing or the gestures that I'm making and sometimes it's very symbolic. What inspired your self-portrait today? Well, um, I've been texting with you and I've been texting a, 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 a <laughs> emoji of the little, you know, fingernail polish hand <laughs> and, um, you know, a little he 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 every time I send it, it's really funny. And then I was just thinking like, oh my god, that would be such a good self-portrait. I was actually thinking earlier today, it just popped up in my mind like, oh, if my next self-portrait, I didn't plan on doing it today with you actually, um, I want to do a... Uh, Inspired by that <laughs> yeah. emoji. So well, yeah, what do you think that emoji means? Like, why do you think people? It's what? like, hey, girl. Yeah. Oh, it's sassy pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like, I'll say something to my roommate that would be really sassy, and then I'll like put the yeah. painting thing in. I was mm -hmm. like, watch out, then. You're boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a time in my life that when people do do certain things to me, that I would have gone for them. Like, yeah, you're trying to drag them, and I would have like cut them. <laughs> you know, but today. <laughs> That emoji is is sort of like where I get to go. You know, it's sort of like, girl, you gotta watch your back. Uh, so it sort of was inspired by that. That's um, so good. I think the title is gonna be "I'm coming for you when my nails are dry." <laughs> <laughs> Most important thing for me when I'm taking a self portrait is why am I taking this? Mm. You know what I mean? Like there's a difference between just a selfie and a self portrait and I want there to be like a meaning of my work. Mm -hmm. And I've always said that like my work comes through me. I feel like it's a gift, the work that I get to create. I don't take that for granted and I'm very aware of that. So the work that I post, I take very, very seriously. I just don't post anything because it is an extension of my work. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's our responsibility to post work that is inspiring. That it's good work, that it's thought out, and to put my work out there and see how people respond to it. So if I'm putting my work out there, it has to be, like, I have to be able to stand behind it. Do you want me to push the button for you or no? That is not a soft portrait. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> and a lot of people don't get my work. Mm -hmm. You know, like a lot of people are like, oh my god, like he's so self-obsessed, but that's not what it's about. Mm -hmm. You know, it's as an artist that's made self-portraits for as long as I have, it's sort of my responsibility to um, continue that, right? Like, I hope that I make self-portraits up until the day that I die. Mm -hmm. Like, how amazing would it be if I take a self-portrait and I'm on my deathbed? Like, yeah. hello, <laughs> like, that would be crazy cool, right? I've also aged with my work. You know, like, she ain't a young chicken anymore. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, oh girl, like, it's almost 25 years that I've been doing self-portraits. So to see the progression and the age, and it's humbling, I have to say, to allow myself be out there like that. Yeah. You have two big projects coming out right now. Tell us about them. One is called For You, and it's my flower series, oh, which yeah. I photographed on Instagram. And wait, and the next one, John's first book. Ah! So what makes Barmaid worthy of your first book? So Barmaid is a series that I photographed while I was working at the Eagle LA. Because my work is a photo diary, I've always since 1994 mm. described my work as a photo diary and this is a specific time in my life. Um, it was a really challenging time in my life. Um, working here and following it through, I knew that that's where I was supposed to be at that time of my life and um, to be working on this series. So to be within that environment for two years was at times really challenging for me and to not really know why I was doing it. So when I was editing it out, I was like, oh my God, this would be an amazing book. Just the whole entire process of this book has been so organic that it just feels 
exactly right. If I hadn't listened to my intuition, this project would have never happened. Okay guys, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. And John, thank you so much for having us at your right, house. Sure. This is wonderful. And you can follow John on Instagram at John Arsenal. Photo. Photo. And then you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat too at Kyle Kruger Hair. You can like and subscribe this video and I'll put down the link below for John's book. Find me. <laughs> okay guys, see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, this is my book Barmaid and this is actually a limited edition one that Kyle got and it comes with Tomcat, a limited edition print. Um, you can check it out on my website which is johnarsenauphotography.com or on John Arsenault Photo on my Instagram.